We are posing with Wesley Vessers today. The one and only Dutch Oak Arnold Classic champion since last weekend. <laughs> Good morning YouTube, welcome to this new YouTube video. It's Sunday today, it's the 10th of March and we're currently 8 weeks out, 7 weeks and 6 days out to be uh, exact. And it's almost 9 o'clock right now and I'm going for my morning walk. Uh, 20 minutes, 25 minutes of steps to get the day started. I just had breakfast and first I'm going to give you um, a prep update because I had a check-in with my coach yesterday and then I have some very exciting plans for today and I'll show you that later in this video and I'm also going to talk a little bit about it. So first um, check-in with the coach. So yesterday 5.30 PM, I had a checkup with my coach and uh, the physique was improved again. So I look better than I did last week and than I did uh, two weeks ago. So that's a win already. But of course, eight weeks is a lot of time to get in shape uh, or to get better in shape. But we also want to make sure we are ready and we have room energy and drive to go a little bit deeper so that's exactly what we're going to do now so i look a lot different now than i did another eight weeks ago so we're almost halfway through the prep um, i really fucking fly um, maybe i said this already but it doesn't feel like prep yet uh, but that is going to start real soon i think because we changed plan a little bit or um, made some adjustments to the plan. Uh, training doesn't change. I have three more days of this battle cycle left then I'll probably deload because I can feel fatigue is creeping up. Um, but training is still going quite well. So today's a rest day uh, by the way I did legs yesterday and I can uh, and I can feel them. So training doesn't change, cardio doesn't change as well. So still like uh, five, five cardio sessions each week, 30 minutes uh, each. That's basically it for cardio. Uh, most of the time I do it on bike. In the morning, just uh, wake up, weigh myself, fill out my details and I'll immediately on the bike. And then uh, shower and get the day started. So that's uh, the plan. Days. But when I have a rest day or I'm in the gym, I have a little bit more time. Uh, I also hop on the stairmaster in the gym uh, instead of the bike. So it depends on the day it is. So cardio doesn't change. Five sessions a week, 30 minutes stays the same. Uh, food is dropping from today on. So um, yeah. Yesterday I also started implementing the changes uh, that I could still because I only had two meals left and those meals were also changed so I implemented it yesterday already. Don't wait, just start. Uh, there's no right time to start. I could have said, oh, start on Monday. No, just start when you can start as soon as possible. So, what changes did we make? Uh, did, what changes did we make to the plan? Calories drop down, of course, because that's the only way to lose weight. You be in a calorie deficit, and you need to make that deficit bigger each time if you stop losing weight. Because my weight was stable for like yeah, like the whole week basically. Still saw physical changes. As you can see, training is going well. Fatigue isn't uh, too bad. Recovery is going well. Weight isn't dropping too fast, so that we can make changes to the plan. So, calories dropped. What did we do? We started implementing training day calories and rest day calories. So, today is a rest day, and I believe uh, my rest day calories are 2,500 calories. So let me show you the screen. Uh, and my training days 
are two thousand nine hundred calories. So, like on my uh, my training days, it's a six hundred calorie drop, I think, uh, five or six hundred calorie drop. And on my rest days, it's like a, yeah, almost a thousand calorie drop, I think. Um, but I only have like one or two rest days a week. Depends on what week it is because I run a push pull leg split and I just do push pull legs, then I rest, push pull legs, then I rest and repeat that cycle. So one or two um, rest days a week. And today happens to be a rest day. And I'll also show you a couple of the meals today. Um, but I'll probably make a separate video with a full day of eating next week. So that's, uh, that's all the planning. We just dropped carbs here and there. Uh, so no carbs anymore in the morning. No carbs anymore at night. So my pre bed snack is uh, also we have one apple left there, so like 20 grams of carbs, a little bit of carbs. So that's sad because I was eating my bread in the morning with my eggs and my bread at night with my chicken. Uh, so the bread is out right now. And that's basically it, I think. Uh, oh no, on the training days we also dropped uh, rice cakes with meal number four because I switched my meals around depending on how I train, but mostly that is meal number four. So meal number four uh, has like half the rice cakes now, I guess. That's basically the changes for the training day. Oh no, also a little bit less rice. Uh, but like I said, I'll show you in a full day of eating. So uh, drop the carbs on the training days a little bit, uh, but still enough carbs pre and post workout to fuel my training and to aid with recovery after training because that's very important when you're in a big calorie deficit keep your carbs around your training as high as possible uh, keep them in as long as possible for recovery and for yeah performance of course so that's basically it on training days and rest days on training days um, we changed the macros up a little bit so protein stays the same I've got to watch my step here protein uh, stayed the same of course because protein is always always the most important macro to retain muscle mass to help with recovery uh, to maybe even build some muscle mass so protein doesn't change much um, carbs drop down a lot because on days I don't train I also don't need as many carbs of course uh, because I don't need to fuel my training so a lot of the carbs are gone there um, still enough carbs of course uh, because I have a lot of calories to play with uh, but like I said I'll show you the calories and the macros on the screen because I can't remember them because I only started implementing the plan yesterday so carbs on rest days um, are going down and uh, fats are going up uh, just for health just for uh, health purposes because of course healthy fats like eggs and nuts and avocado and peanut butter and olive oil and that kind of stuff are very healthy and needed for the body also very good to help uh, promote a better hormone balance so if you try to eat healthy uh, if you try to get healthier and diet keep your healthy fats in so um, less carbs more fats uh, for health and also for sentence and also for satiation because fats will fill you up more than carbs and protein soup most of the time. Protein fills a little bit more than fats, um, but protein stays the same, like I said. So. All right, back home from the morning steps. Did about 3,000 steps to get the day started because we still gotta get 10,000 steps a day in. Um, I already talked you through the training, the cardio and the diet changes, but we still made one change to the plan and that's um, according to supplements. 
and that's the supplement so uh, we upped the dosing for the supplements a little bit um, and this is the last um, last change we're going to make make to the supplementation um, before the contest uh, so started that on yesterday so then you basically know everything we're doing uh, until this point um, I have blood work planned on Monday to see how healthy we are uh, to see what all my markers are saying but I don't expect something crazy there uh, because we're doing nothing crazy so also keep you uh, up to date about that next week and now it's time to pack my stuff uh, hop in the car and then I'll talk to you about the exciting plans I have today so see you there we are posing with Wesley Vissers today the one and only Dutch Oak Arnold Classic champion since last weekend uh, so I'm very very excited for that one I have seen Wesley in real life once at a competition uh, but of course I've never had, had uh, I've never had posing lessons from him so yeah I'm very excited to to see him um, of course also be because he just won the Arnold Classic which is insane accomplishment and which are insane goals um, and I since the beginning since I started training I have been following Wesley um, his journey the vintage genetics journey on YouTube on Instagram uh, I really like his vlogs his YouTube videos his Instagram um, and I also really like his physique he really has a classic physique and I'm very happy that he finally won a very big show because the Arnold Classic is a very big show um, and he deserved it he deserved it 100% um, so I'm very excited to post with him I'm going to try and show you um, a couple of clips uh, I think it's no problem if we film over there um, just probably not going to talk over there um, I'm just going to try to learn as much as possible uh, be in the moment and enjoy it but I will try to film Wesley a little bit and I will try to film myself and, and some other guys posing as well um, yeah and I'll, I'll, I'll update you of course after the, the posing clinic um, but first we have a we have a one and a, one and a half hour uh, drive I guess so first to my parents then a one and a half uh, hour drive stop uh, somewhere on the road for meal number two and then it's posing time so yeah as you can see very excited uh, I'm looking forward to it and very thankful for this opportunity because uh, I try to sign myself up for the, the posing clinic um, but there weren't any places available anymore so that sucked and then a colleague at work um, he knows some people uh, in the NPC and he knows Wesley as well and Wesley's dad and, and the people who arrange this kind of stuff and he uh, arranged a spot for me so I'm, I'm very happy uh, with that and I'm very thankful for, for that opportunity so yeah excited for it Sunday prospect <laughs> posing clinic with Wesley and it was very nice it was very nice to see Wesley in person uh, especially right after the Arnold Classic so it was, was fucking huge it was fucking shredded he looked so amazing and it was also nice to to meet him in person to talk to him to shake hands to take pictures with him and it was also nice to get some tips about posing of course from him uh, because that was exactly why we were there uh, there were about 20 or 21 guys, um, so a small group of men, um, 
all learning from each other, all learning from Wesley. Uh, we were all posing at the same time and Wesley walked around and corrected us. Um, and luckily he didn't have to correct me uh, a lot. He gave me some minor tips, but basically he told me my posing was very good. So I'm happy to hear that, of course. Um, but when I came home, I was exhausted because we did a couple of rounds of posing. Um, hold, uh, needed to hold the poses for very long uh, to, yeah, to basically practice that and to make sure we can hold the poses on stage. Um, so oh, I, was, I was very tired when I came home. Also a one and a half hour drive. Um, and after I um, did the posing, I had a meal. So the carbs hit me when I got in the car, but now I'm home safe and I'm making my next meal. So uh, let me check what we have here. We've got six eggs. And then I've got my rice and I've tried, I've tried to make it in the microwave to be a, li a little bit quicker. Uh, so let's see how it came out. So it came out quite well out of the microwave. So I just put, put uh, 60 grams of uncooked rice in this tiny bowl. And then I put it in the microwave for like um, 10 minutes, 10 or 12 minutes. So we've got 60 grams of rice, perfectly cooked. And then we've got six eggs, and that's it for meal number four. Also just adding some salt to this meal to give it a little taste. And uh, yeah, I'm going to sit back, relax, and enjoy this meal. And it's time to meal prep, uh, do some work, have some clients to start up, and some social media to do, some YouTube video uh, edits to do. And I've also got like 5,000 steps to do, so that's the plan for the rest of this Sunday. I want to thank you a lot for watching. I want to thank you for support. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, maybe you learned something. Maybe it inspired you. Um, and I wish you a beautiful week ahead or a beautiful day ahead. Uh, depends on when I'm posting this video. But thank you again for watching. Very nice to see you are following the journey. If you liked it, please leave me a like. And hope to see you in the next one. Bye.